Hey everybody, this is Kyle Sears from Zoll Medical. Today's Zoll X-Series Tips and Tricks video is going to focus on synchronized cardioversions. So let's take a look. All right, so to successfully cardiovert on the Zoll X-Series, the key button that we want to make sure you're aware of is the sync button on the left-hand side of the monitor. So first check to see if the device is in pads mode and you're picking up a rhythm through the pads. Then press sync. The visual indicators you're going to get in cardioversion mode is the sync indicator at the top of the screen is going to flash, and then the peak of the R wave within the QRS complex will have an S above it, and that's going to help the device deliver the energy at the peak of that R wave to hopefully successfully cardiovert this patient. Now, based on your local protocols, that's what's going to dictate the energy level that you start at. A lot of times protocols will say based on manufacturer recommendations. Zoll's manufacturer recommendation is to start at 70 joules. So assuming your device is programmed to start at 120, you're going to press energy select down three times so that 70 is highlighted. You're then going to press the charge button to charge the capacitor to 70 joules. Your last visual indicator is that the monitor now says sync cardioversion press and hold to shock. So unlike a normal defibrillation where I can just tap the button to deliver the energy, I'm going to hit and hold that button in until the energy is delivered at the peak of the R wave by way of that S indicator above the QRS complex. The time that it takes for me to hold that button in will be dictated by the width of the QRS complex that you're trying to cardiovert. You'll notice after the energy is delivered, the sync indicators go away. So if you've not successfully cardioverted that patient and you're going to deliver energy again, it's important to hit the sync button again. And make sure you see the sync flashing and the peak of that R wave is marked with the S. Now in this case, because I dictated the energy level by manually pressing energy select down, when I go in to select it again, it's going to remain at 70 joules, which is what I pre-selected it at. Our recommendation is then to go to 120 joules, press the charge button, and just like the first time, make sure it says sync cardioversion charge, press and hold the shock. Make sure everyone's clear, deliver energy. Now let's say hypothetically that didn't work again. We're now going to cardiovert at the next energy level up 150 joules. So we go in, we press energy select, 150, we charge the device, now in this case you'll recognize the fact that I did not hit the sync button prior to selecting the energy. The monitor says defibrillator, so this patient that you have sitting there talking to you, about to be cardioverted, in this case will be defibrillated instead. So. You have two different ways to mitigate that problem. One is by hitting the disarm button, which will kick the energy back into the machine and not deliver it to the patient. Or if the monitor is charged up in this situation and you forgot to hit sync, you can still hit the sync button even though it's charged up. You'll get your sync indicator, your S's will come across and march right above the QRS complexes. And then you can go ahead and safely deliver the energy because it says sync cardioversion, press and hold the shock. 